वेलकम टू द लेटेस्ट अपडेट प्रोग्राम द न्यूज ऑफ दिस आवर इज आई सी एम एफ टू बी इनोगेटेड प्रेजिडेंट द्रौपदी मुर्मू विल इनोगेट एंड इंटीग्रेटेड क्रायोजेनिक इंजन मैन्युफैक्चरिंग फैसिलिटी दैट इज आई सी एम एफ इन बेंगलुरु द स्टेट ऑफ द आर्ट आई सी एम एफ हैज बीन एस्टेब्लिश बाय हिंदुस्तान एरोनोटिक्स लिमिटेड और एच ए एल इट वुड केटर टू द एंटायर रॉकेट इंजन प्रोडक्शन अंडर वन रूफ फॉर द इसरो दैट इज इंडियन स्पेस रिसर्च ऑर्गेनाइजेशन The facility will boost self-reliance in manufacturing high-thrust rocket engines. This integrated cryogenic engine manufacturing facility or ICMF has been constructed over a 4500 square meter space. It houses over 70 high-tech tools and testing facilities for the production of cryogenic that is CE20 and semi-cryogenic that is CE2000 engines for Indian rockets. Significantly an MOU was signed with ISRO in 2013 for the establishment of a facility to produce cryogenic engine modules at HAL's Aerospace Division. It was later updated in 2016 to allow for the establishment of the ICMF with an investment of rupees 208 crores. Cryogenic engines are the most widely used engines the world over in launch vehicles. Due to the complex nature of the cryogenic engine to date only a few countries USA France Japan China and Russia have mastered the cryogenic technology On 5th January 2014 India successfully flew GSLV D5 with a cryogenic engine made by ISRO through private industries With this India became the 6th country in developing cryogenic engines Space exploration in the future is mostly dependent upon cryogenic technology. Significantly, HAL Aerospace Division manufactures liquid propellant tanks and launches vehicle structures of PSLV, GSLV MK2, GSLV MK3 and also stage integration for GSLV MK2. The Aerospace Division entering into the manufacture of cryogenic engines is a major step in technology upgradation come modernization.